Okay, guys, welcome back to my fall favorites. Tonight, we have a new sous chef. Harper! Welcome, Harper! Welcome to the family. <laughs> Harper, she's a micro mini Labrador, and she's Winston's new BFF. Yep, she is three pounds and growing like a champ. <laughs> and we just got her last night. Yeah, new pup, new Winston. Anyways, Winston, what do you think of Harper? What do you think of Harper? Oh, your paw. Come here. Oh. So we got two babies. <laughs> One, Winston's never felt so big in his life. Yep. <laughs> okay, have fun. So, for tonight's recipe, we're doing a butternut squash pasta carbonara with the rosemary bacon. Delicious. Yep. I didn't have any linguine tonight. I've been dying to try this. I'm not sure if it's gonna be horrible, but I got this colonic Pompeii that I've been trying to show these huge noodles. So we're gonna take a risk, a food risk, and we're gonna try it out with that. So we're just cubing up some butternut squash. We're gonna throw it on a thing, I'm gonna make some parchment paper. We're gonna cook it with some salt, pepper, red pepper flakes, thyme, and we're gonna just bake that up. And that'll be the, the base for the carbonara. It's not cream, and it's uh, squash. So it's semi-healthy. <laughs> some parchment paper, got some squash you can throw on here. Oh, I'm scared she's gonna chop my finger off. So squash is just like a quintessential fall favorite, I feel like, at least for myself. I love butternut squash, acorn squash, spaghetti squash, love it all. And then we're gonna get some thyme. Oh, hey. Be friendly, Winston. <laughs> Two tablespoons of fresh thyme. Probably do like all that. And we're gonna also toss it with olive oil, garlic, salt, pepper, and red pepper flakes. Olive oil, salt, and pepper. And then I've got some red pepper flakes for a little heat. And then I'm gonna get some garlic. A few cloves of garlic. This is just to roast. My oven is preheating to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is gonna just roast away. So the pumpkins that we carved like literally three days ago are already like rotting it on itself. <laughs> so disappointing, it's impossible to do anything here in Miami that like won't rot because it's just so humid and hot that like usually Even it's inside. the cold, yeah, usually it's the cold dry weather that like preserves a pumpkin. But even inside in the AC, like it's still just molds <laughs> super quickly. All right, I'm gonna get some water to start boiling um, for the pasta in the meantime. Can I mix this together? Yeah, mix that all together and it's fine. So, I just read the recipe and it says that we're gonna cook eight slices of bacon, rub with rosemary, rub with rosemary with the bacon, and then you lay it on, drizzle it with honey and cayenne, and then you bake it on top of the butternut squash. That's gonna be like... So the fat and oil insane. literally seeps down. Yeah. So there's no sauce, there's no... Um, cream in this, but we got the fatty bacon. So I'm gonna chop up this rosemary, and then we're gonna rub this. It's gonna be insane. Can we rub the cayenne as well. What? Cayenne. 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 Ooh, oh my god, this yeah. smells like Christmas or something. This rosemary. Yummy. Rosemary is probably my favorite spice. Or I mean. Okay, so I'm gonna split 
a little cayenne in that. And then I'm gonna take my eight slices of bacon. I feel like I'll just do it all, because why not? Toss bacon, the rosemary, and the cayenne. Sprinkle a little more cayenne. And then we're gonna literally lay this on top of the squash, which is gonna be literally insane. <laughs> I've never heard of this cooking method, but I'm about this cooking method. Oh my God, it smells so good. Like it's not even cooked and it just smells like bacon, rosemary, deliciousness. Just get that extra rosemary on that. Okay. Oh, wow. Now I'm gonna drizzle this thing with honey. Each strand of bacon, about two teaspoons. All right, well that's it for the honey. Oh, what a beaut. So we're gonna bake this at 400 for around 10 minutes and then we're gonna flip the bacon, cook it for another eight, five to eight minutes and then take the bacon off and finish cooking the squash if it's not done. All right, 10 minutes. Ten minutes. How's it going? <laughs> so you put My a forearm hurts. <laughs> you put a cup of the parm with the two eggs, and you're just gonna mix it till it's super smooth. It's hard to do with one hand, and then that's gonna be going with the eggs or the noodles after they're cooked. Okay, so I broiled my bacon because I wanted it to get a little bit more crispy, and this little egg mixture. I'm gonna pop the noodles in. squash mixture is gonna go in. It's gonna coat it, we're gonna throw in some pasta water. So save some pasta water, some butter, and then we're gonna top with the bacon. So I'm gonna just, as my pasta is still cooking, I'm gonna just chop up this bacon for topping. That pasta says 10 minutes, but that thing is thick. Like I feel like it's gonna take like 20 minutes to cook. Mmm, that rosemary honey bacon is honestly magical combo. Never thought to do that. All right, check back in when the pasta is done cooking. Go. Okay, so it did cook in about 10 minutes. I'm gonna put these big old noodles in a warm pan. You could use the same pan, but I didn't want to do it in this super, super deep one, so. Oops! <laughs> Just making sure you cook them al dente. You don't want them to be mushy with the sauce. They have to really hold up, so. Just some noodles down there. <laughs> okay, we got them all. You want to reserve some pasta water. Bring this over here to a burner. 
And now we're going to take, we're gonna take this egg farm mixture. scoop it in and we're gonna stir it really quickly so it doesn't turn into scrambled eggs. Otherwise you, you will get scrambled eggs. So you gotta be super fast, super careful. So it coats the pasta and gets luscious and delicious. That's like that true carbonara. Okay. So now that everything is coated deliciously, look at that. Ooh. Just like that yeah. even looks delicious. <laughs> now we're gonna take tablespoons of butter and take our squash and you're gonna fold it in and it's gonna probably be super thick but that's why we kept the pasta water because it will thin this out Take a ladle of pasta water and add it in. And that will just help thin this down so it gets creamy and coated and delicious. Wow. It's lit. I'm gonna put in bacon in for topping, but I'll just put in a little bit. That bacony flavor gets all up in there. Mm. Some of a lot of these pasta noodles aren't really holding up. Look at that. <laughs> Alrighty. And taste test. Make sure you don't need any salt. You don't know how to taste this big. <laughs> how is it? Mm, wow. Good. The sweetness of the butternut squash. So good. Def needs some salt and pepper to balance out that sweetness. And I think that will be it. If it's too thick, add more pasta water. I think it starts to get too thick, which a little bit more. The key to these creamy pastas is pasta water. Top with fresh parm. And then we're going to top that with bacon. Oh my God. This is going to be unreal. <laughs> okay. And then we get to eat. Look at that.